Okay, so brothers and sisters, we are looking at the tunnel right now. They constructed an observation post so that whilst the men were walked through the tunnel in chains and in shackles, some of their soldiers can know or see whatever is going on. So this side was built in a way that nobody could climb up or nobody could descend down. So that isn't part of the tunnel. So if the tunnel was opened up from the male dungeons, would have gone through it from the male dungeons to the other side. This is, the, this is where they would exit to go... Um, to the ships. To the ships, yes. where the, 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 the priest was. Ten. Yeah, so yes, the entrance started from where the priest was. Right. So behind the priest was the entrance. So they walked from that end from through this the end. Oh, the, the tunnel. Yeah, so that's the tunnel. Yes. The tunnel ends here. Oh, it doesn't end here. It continues. So this is an observation post. Right. Somebody would just stand here and watch. The move. Yes. I understand. Exactly. Yes. And who would that person be? Would it be a European or a European or, or, soldier? Because yeah. like it's basically like a, you know moving the captives was a crucial moment. Some resisted. Some fought back. Mm -hmm. So they never had right. any idea where they were going. So they would stand here and watch in case they needed reinforcement. Quickly they shouted for people to come. Aha, so that was his post. So a British soldier or a white soldier could do that. I have a question. Why have them to go to the uh, move underground versus having them move on, on top of here? So in the open space. Okay, so, so what actually happened here was a, it was that psychological torture. Mm -hmm. okay. To keep your mind mm -hmm. suppressed mm -hmm. and oppressed. Mm -hmm. That's it for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they always try to put you in the dark, in chains and in shackles. Exactly. For you to be controlled. So that is the reason why they go underground they move on to the yeah, Exactly. Yeah. So, like, they're trying to break the men down. Mm -hmm. Because I feel that they wouldn't dare keep the men close up. Sorry, they wouldn't keep them closer to the door of no return. Mm -hmm. So, that's how come the, the men standing was even underground. Mm -hmm. To always keep them suppressed and oppressed mentally, physically. Yeah. yeah, so the conditions in the dungeons was part of the mental torture. The conditions on the ships was part of it. Conditions on the plantation farm. So for the transatlantic slavery, if you should take a critical look at it, it was from one worse situation to another worse situation. It was worse in the dungeons. It was much worse on the ships. It was much worse on the so plantation So it just got worse and worse. Yes. So that's the torture. Because people feel that, oh, okay, these guys were in business. Why do you let your asset die, right? Yes, more will die and I also, I, then I also ask people this question. Okay, do you think these guys were losing money? Because if they were losing money, so let's say about 50 or 100 years into that business, it will end. But here is the case, it continued for over 400 years. Centuries. Yes. So no matter the number of death they encountered, they made money. And the death was also used as a torture to the Africans here. And a psychological so they, effect. Yeah, so they used that to prolong whatever they set their mind to do. It was chattel slavery. Chattel slavery, yeah. Yeah, that the other ones, yeah. So I'm going to tell you that one when we get to the slave market. I'll narrate to you the system of slavery we had here, or the world has experienced before the Europeans introduced their chattel slavery. Our perfect brothers of family, the journey continues as we give you more and more direct history of what happened to our stolen African ancestors here in this Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeon.